Hey everybody, this is JJ. And right now what I wanna do is show you a really cool EDC folding knife. Uh, this is a Schrade knife, and I've added it to my uh, plate carrier. Uh, it's a nice, thick knife, got a good, good solid handle, and it is an assisted opener. So, you know, I really like that. Uh, I like the quick access. It's a liner lock knife. Um, this, the model is the SCH-A6L, okay? And I will put a link uh, to it down in the description over on taylorbrandsllc.com where you can kind of, you know, learn more information about this if you're interested in it. Um, I've had this and been playing with it for quite a while. And there are a couple of things that I really like about it. The quick deployment is one. I mean, it really snaps out there nice and fast. And the other thing that I like is the lineup, or the liner lock really does a very good job at you know, getting a good full engagement. You know, a lot of times liner locks don't really get that full lock in there. They kind of get halfway or three quarter, but they really just don't get all the way. And this one does a very good job of that. You know, pretty much any time you open it, you look at it and it's fully engaged. You know, it's pretty much covered in there. And that's awesome. The other thing that is pretty sweet about this is you can close it up one-handed, no problem. You can use either the, the uh, finger You've got the little finger groove right here to open it, or you got the thumb studs, and it's ambidextrous. It'll work either way. You also have a safety lock right here if you're, uh, you know, worried about it opening in your pocket or whatever. And it's actually the safety lock is actually laid out pretty good. Um, and the reason I say that is it's very intuitive because they have it right here by your thumb, so you're gonna have your hand you know, kind of in this position to open it. So all you gotta do is just put down, push down and pull your thumb back and it'll unlock the safety. And then you can, you know, flip the knife right open. So that's pretty cool because, you know, sometimes they don't have the safeties put in the best location. And, you know, I think this one just is very commonsensical and it, and it does a nice job. Um, I'll throw the uh, blade information and the steel information and all that kind of stuff down in the description below or over here in the sidebar and um, so you can take a look at what it's made of and everything like that. It is, it's a stainless steel, um, you know, one of the 7CRV13, one of those, I don't remember for sure, right off the top of my head. A couple of the other cool features about this knife. Um, you do have a kind of glass breaker right here on the end. You do have a nice little lanyard hole as well. And then you do have a pocket clip. Now the pocket clip, at first I didn't really care for it a whole lot um, because it kind of sticks out a little bit much or whatever. Um, but I do really like the way that this rides deep in the pocket. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. So, I mean it gets down in there quite a ways, you know, I mean, um, you can kind of see the glass breaker a little bit if you're worried about concealment, but you know it's it's right there, and you can still get a good thumb grip on it, and then pop it open pretty quick. But I mean, it definitely rides down in there a lot lower uh, than than a lot of EDC knives do. Uh, this is the mill spy that I reviewed not long ago, and you can see that it's considerably higher, and it kind of sticks up a little bit more. So. Pretty cool knife. Um, you've got some kind of rubberized texture here on the handle, and I'm, I'm, I tell you that I'm not 100% comfortable um, with the way they've done the rubber texturing. Uh, I worry that in the long run that it might come off. Now, I haven't actually had this knife and been using it that long, so I can't say for sure, um, but there's one place on it um, where it was kind of just peeling up on the corner just a little bit, and I was a little worried about that. But, you know, probably not a big deal. Um, it might actually even be more comfortable just peeling them all the way off. It would make the knife a little bit thinner because uh, it's definitely a good, thick, you know, handle. I mean, you definitely, you know, you've got a full handful there, you know, because it's nice and wide. And I'll, I'll throw the, the width measurements and all that kind of stuff up in here as well. Okay, so the SCH a6L uh, is just a nice little drop point and it's kind of got this false double edge right up here on the top and then you know it's got a nice little belly and just a, a straight edge no serrations or anything like that 
Um, you guys could check the website um, using a link down in the description below and see if they offer a serrated model if that's what you're into. Um, really a nice knife, you know, um, pretty competitively priced like all the serrated line, you know, knives and that kind of thing. And it's definitely, it's heavy duty, you know, there's not a lot of blade play or anything like that in here. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's really just a pretty good knife. So this knife, like I said, it's 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 a pretty thick knife. Um, I, if I had to guess, I'd say it's a three quarters of an inch thick or more. And I'm kind of put that up here where you can see it a little better. And in my view, the best place, the best kind of use for this knife, is going to be in you know a kit or something like that. You know, throwing it in to a mag pouch or something along those lines because it's a good heavy duty knife. It's going to ride well in a pocket like this, and it's going to have a good fast deployment which that's pretty cool. The other place that would be really good for this would be um, in your vehicle. You know, if you uh, wanted to have it in a vehicle like in a console or something like that so that it's right there, you could, uh, you know, slide it down in between your seat or something along those lines, be able to grab it really quick if you needed to use it for self-defense or to cut away a seat belt or whatever the case may be. You've also got the, the glass breaker on there as well. So that's pretty awesome too. Um, Definitely comfortable in the hand. The only thing that you notice on the grip is a little bit on the back side, um, on the back side here where this pocket clip kind of sticks up. You do kind of feel that in your hand, but it isn't really distracting or anything like that. You can kind of choke up on it and the thumb stud, you can kind of choke up on it and the thumb stud right here kind of acts like jimping or texturing even though it's not at all what it is but it does offer some texture there where you can kind of get a good purchase on it and to be able to choke up on it and do some more finer cutting kind of things so that's that's pretty nice as well overall um, you know if you're looking for a budget you know well-priced folder uh, assisted opening folder then take a look at these you know I mean head over to Taylor Brands LLC and you know see what you think I've had several of the Schrade knives and I tell you what um, in the last couple of years they've really been doing a good job at making some pretty decent knives at really good prices now you know I, I don't I'm not saying that I think that the that this knife is like a, a equivalent to a Benchmade or you know something along those lines, but you're not paying those prices. You know, I mean, it's definitely a good knife, though. Um, I mean, it's it's every bit as good or pr probably considerably better than a lot of the Gerbers, um, than a lot of the Kershaws. You know, I mean, it's these are good knives. Um, I really don't have any complaints with them whatsoever, except for the couple little things uh, on this knife in particular that I've covered. Um, seeing it be a little bit thinner profile would would probably be nice and I'm sure that they do have thinner profile knives It's probably an intentional design because you know people with really big hands want to have something that they can really You know grab onto or whatever and this is definitely something that they can do that with so Anyhow guys, uh, this has just been a real quick look uh, at the Schrade SCH A6L um, We'll be doing uh, more with this in the future um, get it out here for a full test and that kind of thing. This is kind of just a quick look. And, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys are looking for more knives, then, you know, go over to taylorbrandsllc.com. Just click on the link in the description below. Head over there and take a look at their selection. Uh, they've got um, several new models coming out for 2015 as well. And I will be having, uh, I'll be doing a video review and comparing some of their new Bushcraft fixed blade knives uh, here on a video uh, coming out, I don't know, probably in the next couple weeks or so. Anyway guys, uh, just a quick look at this knife. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I would be curious to know what is your favorite Schrade uh, knife or any of the Schrade brands, you know, what, what is your favorite one? Go ahead and put that down in the comments below and as always, I definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And don't forget to live the six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys.